public will accept me back, I want to do that. With a mob of people around him, disgraced former New York Governor Elliot Spitzer asked for a second chance in his bid for New York City Comptroller. I would hope that anybody who's gone through what I've gone through, anybody who's had five years to reflect, to think, would change to a certain extent. I am deeply sorry that I did not live up to what was expected of me. Spitzer's fall from grace made national headlines after getting caught in a prostitution scandal. He's not the only one now trying to mount a political comeback after public humiliation. Former Congressman Anthony Weiner is running for New York mayor after promiscuous tweets forced him to leave Congress two years ago. We're going to reduce their taxable income a little bit more, $120. Today, there is a, a much higher level of public tolerance uh, for uh, premarital sex, same-sex relationships, and to some degree for extramarital sex. But will Spitzer be able to earn his way into the good graces of New York voters again? I'm not sure, uh, you know, if he'll win, but I think it's cool that he has the chutzpah to do it. People learn from their mistakes, and I'm, I, can, I can bet that he will never make this mistake again. Spitzer's re-entry into the New York political landscape may actually complicate things for Weiner, two candidates with past scandals on the same ballot. First, Spitzer needs to collect more than 3,700 signatures in the next four days to get his name on the ballot. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, Associated Press. Your name, county? Okay, you know, give that. Okay, all right. Okay.